Welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the new pricing calculator provided by AWS. Now, previously, we had an old simple monthly calculator where you could, in fact, put in all of the elements or parameters that you need, and AWS would spin out the actual monthly costs or yearly costs for you. But quite recently, you'll notice that the new calculator page, which is calculator.aws, this is the URL where you need to go. And here, the pricing calculator estimates the cost for your architecture solution. And it is still in beta, so they'll be adding more services to this. But this is much simpler than the previous calculator. So I'm going to show you both. Okay. First, let's take a look at the new calculator that is in beta. And the way it works is fairly straightforward. It estimates the cost of AWS products and services. All you have to do is just add a service, you configure the service, and then you see the estimate totals. So it's really a simplified version as opposed to the old calculator, which I'll show you in a moment. So for instance, let me in fact give you a little demonstration as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create an estimate. So by clicking on the Create Estimate button, it takes you to the estimate page and simply provide or give a name for your estimate. So I'm going to say Clade as AWS Estimate, and then I need to pick a region. So this is for the region for your group because the price and availability of AWS regions or services, they vary. Okay. So you'll notice all of the regions are listed. And by the way, they just added five new regions. So if you are keeping track of the latest news by AWS, I believe they added, I don't see them here because three of them were added in the Middle East and a couple of them on the East and Europe, right? So I don't see them here. For example, I know for sure Bahrain was added, but it's not here. In any case, you will see that they'll update the centers as well or the regions that as well. So I'm going to pick and choose the US East North Virginia and simply click on create estimate. And here I can see add service button where I can simply add the service that I need to configure and customize and before it provides me the estimate. So let's go ahead. So notice at this point only four services are listed as you can see right here. And of course in this region, North Virginia. And I'm going to go ahead and select the EC2 instance or the Amazon EC2, which is simply the Elastic Cloud web service that provides secure, resizable compute capacity in the cloud. Once I select this, I'm going to go ahead and click on configure. And this will bring me to the page where I have two tabs, the quick estimate and the advanced estimate. So if I stick to the quick estimate first, I can select the operating system. So whether it's a Linux box that I want to run, Windows Server, SQL Server Web, Linux SQL, and so on. So you can pick and choose which operating system you wish to run on this server. So I'm going to say Linux. And then the number of instances that you require. So if you need one instance, that's fine. If you need two, you can simply add to this. It's up to you. So I'm going to leave this as one. And then the requirements for each instance. How many CPUs do I need? So by default, it says four CPUs. I'm going to bring this down to two. Maybe I do not have a greater requirement for four CPU box. And then, of course, the memory is 16 gigs for this particular hardware that I'm trying to configure for the instance. And I can also add a requirement by clicking on this if I need more processing power. Let's say if I'm running video streams or if I'm running uh, machine learning, for example, we typically use GPUs, it's just faster instead of using the CPUs. So if I don't need to use it, I can simply delete it. All right, so based on my inputs, this is the lowest cost EC2 instance. Here's the default name, two CPUs, on-demand hourly cost is provided to you. Here's the memory. And then standard reserve hourly cost is also there. So the pricing model, if I scroll down, is either standard, convertible, or on demand. 
and contract terms are one year, three year, and then the payment options, no upfront, partial, or full. I'll click on and expand the show calculation, and it's going to give me the details. It's going to cost me about $51.83 per month for this instance. If I need to add the elastic block storage, or known as EBS, I could also do so. So whether it's a general purpose, provisioned, throughput optimized, cold, or magnetic. Storage amount, whether it's 30 gigs. All right, so that way you can simply customize and configure. So it's much simpler that way. The advanced estimate is pretty much the same. It just lists all of the other or the additional areas that you can kind of take a look at. For instance, if I take a look at the workload, I can select the graph that best represents the monthly workload that I have. So depending on the app that you are running or you're going to be running on this Linux box that you're trying to configure, what kind of traffic are you experiencing? Whether it's a daily spike traffic, weekly, or pretty much an average traffic. So based on that, you can select the instance and you can also select the days where your traffic uh, is being experienced high or low based on the days. So let's say Tuesday and Wednesday, the middle of the week, I have more traffic. And I can set some additional settings such as baseline, peak, duration, and so forth. So it's really customizable and powerful, yet easy to use with the new pricing calculator. And once I'm, of course, done with all of these options that I choose to select, click on Add to my estimate. And then I need to specify, of course, since I selected the daily spike traffic, I can say I'm going to specify at least one instance for this. And then the peak hours, let's say two hours is the duration on Tuesday and Wednesday that I need for the daily spike traffic. So it's going to cost me about $3 extra roughly per month. I'm going to add to my estimate. Perfect. So it takes me back to the page and now it tells me that the first 12 months total is going to be $37.08, right? And then the total monthly is going to be $3.09 for the Amazon EC2 instance. And here's the detail for my instance as well. I also get, by the way, two daily snapshots. So that way you can add additional service, right? By clicking on the add button, you can add a group or you can select other options as well. Once you're done, you can export the estimate. And this is good for your clients, for your company, or for the organization. You can create the estimates based on the type of applications you are going to be running on this particular piece of hardware, for example, EC2 instances, or other services. And then export and then present in your meetings. So this is the new calculator. Now, if I were to go back to the old calculator, Let's go back to the home page. The old calculator is basically, I'm going to open this up in the new tab. And let's navigate to the old calculator. This is a little bit more complex, right? So you'll notice the screen is filled with all of this text that you need to kind of siphon through. But it's really straightforward. So if you're comfortable with this, that's fine. Otherwise, AWS is constantly working on increasing their or adding uh, to their additional services. So here, again, by default, I come to the same page, the Amazon EC2 instances, and I can add a new role, and I can start to add additional services that I need. Now, for example, let me go to Amazon CloudWatch. So if I click on this, I can specify the dashboards that I'm gonna be using for CloudWatch. So for instance, I'm gonna have two dashboards per month. The number of events that are custom events that I'm gonna be creating are going to be, let's say 23. The EC2 instances and the alarms are gonna be five. These are just random numbers, I'm just picking them up. Volumes are gonna be two. The RDS DB instances, two. And then the auto scaling service alarms I'm gonna have let's say 12. And as soon as I have it, it tells me the estimate of my monthly bill of $1.80. So that way you can select, pick and choose, 
and read about it as well. And be careful, important note that CloudWatch, for instance, events is currently available in the US East, North Virginia, Ohio, Oregon, California, and so on. So, and the regions are important because if you go cross region, you need to kind of devise and develop your, or architect your solution accordingly. All right, so in this lesson, I just wanted to show you the new calculator as well as the old, and you can kind of see the comparison for yourself. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. I'll be glad to help. With this, let's move to the next lesson.